So this is gonna be a really different year uh, at Mount Allison and everywhere on the planet this year. So three things that I think people have to focus on are that it's going to be dynamic. Things are gonna change, they're gonna change rapidly and we have to change with them. It's gonna be good. We're gonna do our absolute best to make this a fantastic year, even though it's gonna be different. And it's gonna be the Mount A experience. It's gonna be a different Mount A experience, but it's gonna be the Mount A experience. And remember that this has got a, this is a four year degree and this is just one of those years. So in terms of facilities, we won't be delivering large lectures in person. That's just not possible with the regulations that are in place right now for the pandemic. So most of the lecture content for courses is going to be delivered online, which is great. It's flexible. You can interact with it when you have the time and when you're on. What you will find, though, is we're going to have in-person labs or scheduled online labs. And um, the ones that are online, you'll be interacting with the instructor in a real-time kind of way. The ones that are in person are gonna be in the regular spaces. There will be fewer students present. And in the where we need it, we're going to have installed plexiglass barriers. So we can still see everything, we can hear everything, but you'll be safe in that environment to perform the experiments and learn the hands-on skills that really make the Mount Allison degree uh, in science what it is. We've done a really fantastic job in science, I feel, for giving opportunities for people who either want to be on campus or not be on campus. So a student starting at Mount Allison in science in the fall could have biochemistry and biology and psychology and physics and math, two flavors of math, and computer science. Really the one thing that you can't do right now in the fall is chemistry 1001, but that's gonna be offered in the winter where it normally isn't offered. And we're gonna make up an opportunity to take the second chemistry in the spring summer session. So the idea is that by the end of the spring summer 21 session, you'll be all caught up with everyone else, even if you're unable to make it to campus. And for a number of these courses, there are exclusively online or online or in-person options. So if you're not planning to come to campus, sign up for the online only option. If you're planning to be on campus, sign up for the on-campus option. So the science degree at Mount Allison is kind of like a pyramid with this huge foundation at the bottom. So we have all this hands-on and experiential courses at the lower levels of the degree. So the first and second year level where you get all the skills that you need to move forward. And then as you go up and up, you take more specialized courses. So the Mount Allison degree uh, that anytime, now or other, other times, you're gonna get a lot of experience. You're gonna get a lot of interpersonal interaction with instructors and students, upper year students and faculty. And that's gonna lead to you um, identifying your interests that you're gonna take at higher levels in the degree. And then you'll specialize with the courses and areas that are most interesting to you. So the closest thing that we have available in the fall to a self-directed online course would be the unscheduled online courses where there's nothing scheduled for you to interact with the professor or the lab instructor or a peer mentor. But the online scheduled online courses, there will be regular meetings. They're just not going to take place in person because of the limitations that we're under. But that doesn't mean you should sleep through them and not come. You should be there, be present, be contributing and being part of that, but in a, a non face to face. I mean, you'll actually feel like you're closer to the professor because the professor is going to be a meter from the screen rather than at the end of a large lecture hall. This is something that I can't say it's all going to be like this because every professor is going to bring their own flavor and their own take on this. Uh, if, if a course is exclusively online, I think you can expect some one-on-one -on -one meetings, you know, I, on some kind of platform like Teams or Zoom, where you're going to interact with the faculty member or the lab instructor or an upper level student who'll be leading you through work. Um, so you're going to expect some one-on-one -on -one or small group experiences that way. I think that it won't be the same. There's not going to be office hours where we sit together in a room and look at your work, but we can actually sit together on Teams see each other and interact. I can show you what I'm writing on my iPad. You can show me your work and we can talk about, you know, what, what you're having trouble with, what the barriers you're having. So I think that that is going to be really prevalent. Um, and I, I can't stress enough how we're going to be supplying upper level, highly performing students to interact 
with um, incoming students to help them master content as they, you know, this is going to be a challenging semester and this is going to be different than usual, but we will have those supports and helping people in place, people that they can relate to, that they can feel confident and comfortable asking questions of to get the, the answers that they need. So we have a lot of resources in science and otherwise on campus to help students succeed, whether that's the Writing Resource Centre, the Math Resource Centre, the Physics Help Sessions. So we normally provide a lot of student and faculty-led help sessions uh, in advance of a test or assessment. That will all still happen. Much of it will be online, but people can attend that from wherever they are. We're putting more emphasis on peer mentorship. So that means this upper level student who is, you know, did really well in the course when, when they took it, helping you to understand the material now. And so we'll be making those uh, very available, especially for the students who aren't able to access campus and you know are, are going to need that extra help. We'll also be providing sessions at the beginning of the term to help people learn to learn online because it's not the same. If you're used to going to high school and it was a 20 or 30 person classroom with one teacher, this is going to be different but we're going to provide the tools and tips and strategies to learn how to interact with the uh, with the online delivery of content and then you know, how to advocate for yourself to contact a professor and to talk about the problems that you're having in the course. All the faculty members and the lab instructors and our student leaders are expecting interaction from students. And so, you know, we want to let people know how to access that help that is going to be there for sure.